Hi, Jessie. Uh, my name's, uh, well, Daphne, sorry, you know who I am. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Um, I really hope you're okay wherever you are and staying safe and uh, managing to study, which is fantastic. Really good. I'm so proud of all our students for studying really hard during this lockdown and just making this into an opportunity to really work hard and just get this IELTS practice done. So well done, you. Brilliant. Uh, this is a nice letter. Okay. Thomas, so informal letter. Uh, dear Thomas, I hope it's said I find you well. Thank you for sending me the pictures of our last trip together. One of my one of my most brilliant memorable vacations S of the year. So you need an S. Um either the most memorable vacation, one of them, or one of which suggests that you had quite a few. So you need the S there uh, of the year. I'll put it there we go, correction. And I cherish all the memories I create. Uh, probably, I think I'd have past tense there, I created with you, uh, because um, you're referring back to this holiday, so it was the memories you made on that holiday. However, I'm afraid to tell you, I would say I'm sorry, a bit more informal. Uh, remember, you must show the examiner this formal, uh, informal style, sorry. Sorry to tell you, I won't, and again, I would contract there. Obviously, in normal formal writing, you wouldn't, but show it's informal. I won't be able. Available on the dates you're planning to visit me next. Good. I have an important conference to attend in another state that week, or, okay, in the week you're planning. But just put that week or those dates or something. And also, my mum and dad are visiting my grandparents, so they won't be around to receive you. I'd say to welcome you. We wouldn't really say receive. It's a bit formal. I would probably say welcome you. I'm extremely sorry. I know we planned this month, but due to the sudden change in my work, it just seems impossible. Lovely. Very nice use of just, which we use all the time. It has no meaning, but we just use it. Instead of coming in May, why don't you come in June? Question mark. Because this is an indirect question. Well, it's a direct question, that. Uh, the weather will be more pleasant, uh, and since the Eid Festival will be... Since maybe for this, since this is near Eid, I mean this is will be near, will be near that time, near then. I say near then. There is for a place near then. Um, ah, n put near comma. All right, I get it. There'll be more traditional gatherings and celebrations around the city that we can enjoy. Put that as we. We can enjoy together. Uh, let me know what you think. Update me about your plan. Hope to have you soon. Really nice. Super letter. Well done. Really, really good. Just a few little tiny typos. So just check before you click the button on that one. Yeah. So countries with a long average working time are more economically successful than those which do not. So to what extent do you agree? The issue of, country, the issue of country's success and the working time of the labour. Um, okay, and I would go the labour force is working time. Now it's correcting, it's putting the red line, this is because English spelling is O-U-R, which I prefer, this is American spelling, so I'm going to ignore that line, okay? And the labour force's working time has been debated by many in the past. Yes, I'm still debated. It is believed that working extensive hours, you don't need four, working extensive hours uh, could surge. Uh, so, so it is believed that, uh, yeah, it's, uh, this is a hypothetical. It is believed that it could surge the com country's economy. Personally, I strongly disagree, as the success of a nation depends on multiple factors and not only well done, nice. This is a will argue. Yeah, really good. Okay, to begin with, there's ample evidence that lengthening the working day. Um, we would say lengthening the working day as the uh, correct collocation, so the expression which sounds most natural. So lengthening the working day not only affects productivity, you don't need to repeat work there, not only affects productivity, but also the health of the employee. This is largely because, comma, due to extra hours. 
uh, extra work hours, there might be an initial influx of growth for the short term. Uh, good, well done. However, due to work stress, comma. So the commas let me breathe. It's really important. However, due to work stress, employees, plural, uh, employees, are more prone to illness like fatigue and depression. Uh, um, so you said more likely, uh, sorry, are more prone, okay. Um, okay, so additionally, then you need something to introduce this little sentence. Additionally, so yes, they've got that problem, and extra, they're more likely to take sick leave, uh, no S on there, sick leave, due to their negligence of health, hence a decline, a parallel or subsequent. Because that leads from that decline in their performance and reduced output in the long run. In a recent study, somebody, yep, um, I would say capital letters, capital, capital, capital letters, because it's a proper department. It was shown that 25% of people, um, people who, so people who, all right, people with extensive working hours took more sick leave than expected in a six month period. It feels a bit long, this. Um, I'm just wondering if we can clean it up a bit. Um, uh, uh, maybe reported. No way. I'm, I'm just trying to think if we could take out this word took. Um, demanded more sick leave than expected. Maybe that would be better. Therefore, working longer working hours is likely to be associated with very good. Yeah. Um, it's I just I'm just trying to avoid this working hours, working hours, working hours every time. Okay, so sometimes we just can leave it out. However, working so here, just put shorter hours. What a shorter working day, a shorter or shorter work day, or, or something like that. Just mix it up a bit so you're not repeating the whole thing. Yeah, might delay output, but its impact cannot be overstated. <clears throat> so the reason behind this is one fold. Oh, I wouldn't use that. Just go. This is because <laughs> one fold doesn't work. Um, just but this is because by reducing working hours, companies will hire more people. Uh, Therefore, comma, instead of one person, one employee doing the job for longer hours, more people would be available. So this is, should be would. Again, hypothetical, you're suggesting be available to finish the task in a given time. Thus, this is not only boost the nation's economy, apostrophe S, but also reduce the unemployment rate in the country. To illustrate, uh, you don't necessarily need that. Um, Average working hours employees in Denmark and the USA were compared, and Denmark demonstrated a flourishing and stable economy. Yes, it was so interesting. Yeah, and in America, they work for hours and do nothing. Well, not do nothing, but less productive. When the arguments the examples given, I firmly believe that having average working time, average, having a lower, ah, oh, having an average working time not uh, average not over yeah not only contributes to the economic success but but to the well-being of the society as well it's predicted that more countries might follow sorry um i wouldn't go might be following i just go might follow you're okay um don't do an ing there the rule of less working hours for a more stable Okay, wow, what a strong essay. Well done. This is really, really good. Night, very high level. You've very clearly told me your position. You very clearly argued it in your paragraphs. So, task achievement, yes, excellent. The coherence is very good. It's easy for me to go through 
and this uh, your ideas flow very nicely one to the other excellent language very very good indeed on the language really strong there um, you're using the, these uh, suggesting words the could would uh, might very nicely you could throw in a conditional I think maybe just on the grammar I'm finding there's a lot of students at the moment just conditional throw in a conditional uh, if something happened that would happen um, I think that's important um, and a passive maybe um, just throw in a little bit of grammar um, but you've got very nice complex sentences and uh, really super two really good tasks that well done good for you take care